Hey Aries, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on with Aries? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank, thank you so much for tuning in. Aries, what's going on with Aries? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what does my Aries, what do they need to hear and know? Aries, what do you need to hear and know for this week? Aries, okay, a stack. Okay, so when the stacks come out like that, because it's a big chunk of cards, I just pull from the top. So we have Stand Your Ground. We have New Beginnings. And we have Spiritual Unit Union. <laughs> Y'all, bear with me. I've been struggling to talk, Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you what else came out in that stack. It was quite a few cards. We have a lot. So we have Patience. We also have Rest and Rejuvenate. We have the Universe card, Spiritual Strength, Firm Foundation, and we have Obstacles and Challenges. Yeah, so there may be something that's requiring you to have patience, okay? Someone may be... Uh, not saying anything. There may be a cycle that needs to close out or someone's trying to start something over. Um, this week, it's requiring a lot of patience. Someone is trying to gain strength to deal with something, trying to gain strength to maybe get a firm foundation started, but it's an obstacle. There's challenges to do this this week, okay? I'll put those cards over there. At the bottom of the deck, we have Love Begins. Ace of Cups is here. With fulfillment of wishes. Wow. Yeah, right behind it is the tower, Scorpio energy with disruption. Okay. So it, this is on someone's mind. Crown chakra is right behind disruption. It's like someone is bothered. Someone is bothered because they really want this or desire this with you. This could be your energy, vice versa. Put the characters where they go. Okay. Someone is bothered. There is a disruption here. It's like someone's peace of mind or something is being disrupted because they want their fulfillment of wishes. They want love. Someone wants love. This could be you wanting love. Okay. Let's see. Withstand your ground. Yeah, someone is willing to fight for this or someone is being stubborn. Maybe it's the energy of someone blocking like the seven of wands. Okay. Okay. With the number seven at the top, it's like the seven of wands. Someone could be blocking this energy or someone willing to fight. Someone being very stubborn. New beginnings. Someone wanting to fight for a new beginning. Willing to fight, okay? Wanting to take a leap of faith. This is like the full energy in traditional tarot. And then spiritual union. It's like the two of cups. Spiritual union is here. So it's like someone wants a beginning with you. They feel this connection with you. You could feel this with this person. It could be mutual. Someone feels a spiritual connection, okay? Some of you have waited a long time to find your partner, to find um, someone to have a new beginning with. I am picking that up as well. But this is a chance for a new love opportunity. For some of you, this is new love, a new lover coming in, okay? Let's clarify this energy. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, messages for Aries for this week. What do they need to hear and know? Messages for Aries. What do they need to hear and know? Tell me about this energy here for Aries. Tell me about this energy. Why stand your ground here? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. See, this is the Ace of Cups in this deck. Ace of Cups. Now we have Ace of Pentacles. Love and then now a solid offer. Something big comes in. It's like you fought for it or someone is willing to fight for you. Fighting to have this with you. Why, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Justice, Libra's major arcana. Giving you what you deserve. You're getting what you deserve. Spirit is giving you something that you deserve. Okay? Someone, you could be dealing with the Libra. It doesn't have to be, but the spell, the... <laughs> The, <laughs> I'm sorry, the scales are being balanced is what I'm trying to say. Scales are being balanced. Something that you've been waiting on. 
you get justice for this. Some of you have been waiting for money. Let me just, let me take love out of it for a second. For some of you who are not dealing with the love situation, you've been waiting on money. A big offer is finally coming through because you fought for it. Maybe some of you fought for uh, child support. I'm getting that or a divorce settlement, divorce settlement for um, some of you. Some of you fought to have a certain position on your job or you fought for uh, rights on your job. Equal rights is what I'm getting. Equal pay. Some of you want an equal pay or some of you wanted a raise. You fought for it and now you're getting it. It's a new beginning for you. Okay, why is new beginnings here for Aries, please? The lovers, Gemini's Major Arcana. Wow, Gemini's Major Arcana is here with the lovers. This is a new beginning for love. New beginning for love. Tell me more, please, about that new beginning. What do we have? Hermit. It almost wanted to flip in reverse. So someone could be wanting to come out of hermit mode. Someone uh, is Vir Virgo's Major Arcana. We have major arcanas coming out, the justice card, the lovers. Now we have the hermit, okay? Someone has gone within. Yeah, it could, could be someone a few years older than you or maybe older or more, just uh, more, um, more mature than the average person that maybe you're used to dating. Someone is coming in with maturity. They've gone within. Now they're coming out with more wisdom. Tell me about that hermit energy, please. Three of swords. Mm, someone has been hiding feelings. Maybe they had to go within and really, and that that's that disruption energy that I'm feeling, really had to go within and see, okay, what are my feelings here? What am I feeling for Aries? What, what are these feelings? Okay, why are they sad? Why are they sad? This has been a heavy burden. Yeah, someone has been like overworked, overwhelmed. And this has been a burden on them. Like this connection, thinking about this connection, wanting to have a new beginning with you, feeling in love. Mm. Yeah, what is that justice card? Let me go back to that. Six of cups. Yeah, somebody feeling a soulmate energy with you. For others of you, this is like child support. I'm telling you, somebody is going through needing child support or going through a divorce and you've been waiting to get money to take care of you and your kids, something like that. Yeah. Remember, that's for those of you who are not dealing with a love situation. But for most of you, I'm feeling like someone has been standing maybe in silence or in solitude, and they have been wanting a new beginning with you. Someone who has maybe undergone, undergone a transformation, if it's someone you already know. For others of you, this may be someone who's coming out of hermit mode. Maybe they haven't trusted love. Maybe they've been through a lot of breakups or bad relationships or something like that. Maybe they came out of a bad relationship. And now they're ready to have real love in their life. Why spiritual union here for Aries? Ace of Swords. Yeah, someone communicates. It tells you the truth about this. They have clarity. It's like after being in hermit mode, this person gets clarity with the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Tell me more. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like now they want to give you reciprocity or someone is willing to give you, again, what you deserve. Maybe after not being able to give you much. Tell me more about that energy, please. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Wands could be a younger fire sign for some of you or the, just the energy of a, of a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, like yourself. Someone very passionate, wanting to rush in. They feel a bit... Like they're tired of waiting, a bit panicked. Tell me about that Knight of Wands energy, please. Page of Wands. Yeah. See, for some of you, you may be around the same age as this person. They're very passionate about you. Okay. They may come off a bit frantic, like um, kind of uh, flirtatious or sexual. I feel like, like this energy, like they don't know 
really what to say. The energy of someone like tripping over their words because they have so much they want to tell you. They may have good news. Maybe they went through uh, maybe a big fight in court or some type of battle. But I feel like you would know that if they did. You would know this person's situation. They went through some type of heartbreak or heartache or pain or loss. And maybe this person is coming in to tell you some good news. What do they want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? What do they want to say to you? Okay. What do we have? Okay, I thought something flipped over. We have two that came out. Yeah, five of swords and eight of pentacles. Yeah, someone's been fighting for finances. Again, money, pentacles coming out, fighting for finances, trying to fight to uh, win at their job. It's something like that. Maybe they've been fighting hard to find another job or change careers. They've been dealing with a lot on their job. Maybe they have um, just like a bad working environment is what I'm getting. This person has really been trying to be focused on you, but they've been going through a lot in their personal life. A bad working environment this person has been dealing with. What, what is this person dealing with? Tell me more, please. What are they dealing with? Yeah, an emperor, Aries energy. They may, this is your major arcana, but they may be fighting with a boss or um, an emperor-like energy. An emperor can be a manager or um, someone in a supervisory position. Tell me more about that emperor. What are they? What is this person dealing with? Five of Pentacles could be job loss for some of them, fighting to keep their job, fighting to gain more money, wanting more money, maybe asking this emperor for more, more money, equal pay. Remember, I was saying that equal pay, equal rights. There's something like that that this person has been dealing with. Lots of pentacles are coming out. So this tells me this person has been struggling with finances or dealing with a lot. And this may, may be why they've been in hermit mode, maybe why you haven't heard from them as much. Some of them may be taking care of a father. Someone is taking care of a father. My emperor can be a father as well. Someone's uh, taking care of like a sickly parent, elderly parent. Someone's father is sick or ill. Or they're just having to provide for their father financially, I'm getting. How do they feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? Maybe their father lost a job or went through some type of financial loss and this person is helping financially. Okay. Their money is going to a parent. How does this person feel about Aries? Let's see. Eight of Swords. They think about you all the time. All in their head about you. How do they feel about Aries? This person. You make this person happy. Maybe in, in all of their darkness or anxiety that they feel with other things. It's like they sit and they think about you being with you. You make them happy with sun card, Leo's major arcana. How do they feel about Aries? Strength card, Leo's major arcana. Wow. Could be dealing with the Leo. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, it's like they're trying to be strong. They're trying to be brave. They see you as strong. And maybe they feel like, you know, okay, Aries is confident. Aries is, is full of light. Aries is full of joy. When you get the sun card and the strength card, and it, this may have them feeling a bit nervous, okay? They may not feel like they're on that level yet. Okay, how, okay, did something flip over? Okay, almost. How do you feel about this person, Aries? How does Aries feel about this person? How does Aries feel, okay? Queen of Cups, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, you have feelings for them. You have feelings. Okay, what else? How do you feel about this person, Aries? Seven of Wands. Okay, okay, that's that Seven of Wands energy. So you may not want to express your feelings yet. 
you may have feelings for this person, but you may be standing your ground or you may be protecting yourself right now. Being protective. It's like, uh, I don't know yet. I don't know if I want to tell this person how I feel because you may not know where they stand with you because they've been in hermit mode. Okay. How does Aries feel about this person? Eight of cups. Okay. They could better be at a distance from you. You could feel like walking away. Okay. You could feel like you need your space. You need time. Tell me more. Seven of Pentacles, you may feel like this is a thing in the past that you may not want to revisit. You know how you are when you move on from someone, but you still may have emotional feelings toward a person, but you're still moving on. That's how I feel here. So it's like, yeah, I may still have feelings for you. I may still think of you from time to time, but right now I'm just, I'm not willing to give a second chance. Okay, what are your intentions, Aries? What are your intentions in this connection? What are Aries' intentions in this connection? Wow. Okay, two of cups with the nine of wands. So you intend to eventually maybe talk to this person. Two of cups with the nine of wands, you still feel a connection. Maybe just this week, you're you're not feeling it. Maybe in the next few weeks, you, you still won't be feeling it. Okay, it'll be different for every Aries watching. But you don't want this to be completely over. This is what I'm seeing. With the Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands, the Chariot is here, Cancerian energy. Yeah, going from no communication to moving forward. Okay, maybe this is taking time to get over this person. It's just taking time. But I still feel like some of you will hold on to this person. Some of you may move on, okay? Take it as it resonates. Some of you with the Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands, that's telling me that some of you will hold on for hopes that Things will come back together with this person. And then others of you, magician with the four of cups, it's like pushing it away. Okay. It's taking time to end this, but then you will eventually move on. Okay. Mm. So it'll be different for each of you. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else that Aries would need to know in this situation this week? Whoa. Oh yeah, somebody is obsessed. Look at that. Now we have a king of cups with the devil energy. Someone could be emotionally manipulative. Okay, so be aware of that. Someone may come in with a sad story. You know, the reason why you weren't hearing from me was because, you know, I was going through all these financial issues or problems. You know, um, I, I had this going on, that going on. And but you may be like, but you still could have communicated with me. You still could have talked to me. You still could have called me. You could have let me know something. Somebody, yeah, this could mean obsession or this could mean emotional man manipulation with the King of Cups. Emotions with the devil energy. Emotional manipulation for some of you. For others of you, this could mean obsession. Someone is obsessed with this connection. That's what you need to know. Five of cups. Someone has regrets here. Someone's regretting what, what has happened. Yeah, regretting not being open with you, not being honest with you, keeping secrets with the high priestess energy, and you maybe had to cut this person off because they kept too many secrets. They may want to apologize, but it may be too late. Okay, or this is their fear that it will be too late. It will be too late. Any other insight before I move to another deck? Any other insight? Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, that's too many cards. Any other insight? Any other insight? Okay, we got something to flip. Horror font. Okay, you could have been married to this person. For some of you, you could have been married. And I got the energy up here. Someone going through some type of divorce or waiting for a divorce settlement or of some sort. Look. Okay, the nine, nine of pentacles. Yeah. 
Some of you will be happily single or moving on to a better relationship. It's like you have something better coming in with the hard font towards this major arcana. Some of you will be happily single moving on, okay, from this person. Some of you were married to this person. And maybe they just apologize too late. Like, it's too late. Some Something feels too late, okay? Some of you, it's like you held on as long as you could. You loved this person. You held on as long as you could. And it's like, okay, I, I need to move on to more, to, to someone who can give me what I need, stability, long-term relationship, someone who's more spiritually connected with me. Yeah, nine of cups, personal desire being fulfilled, Scorpio's energy, their major arcana with the death card. Yeah, someone may try to transform and give you what you've always desired. What is the potential outcome for the month of December? What is the potential outcome for Aries in this situation for the month of December? What is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome for Aries and this person? Okay, we have some flip over. High Priestess. Something else flipped over. Yeah, King of Wands. Okay. High Priestess with the King of Wands. So someone may just have secret desire. That's my sexy king. Secret desire. High Priestess hiding. What is that king of wands? Are they taking action to change? Are they taking action? Ace of wands. Okay. Okay. Someone's taking action. They may be very passionate. Okay. What? What else? Three of cups. They want to reconcile. Taking action to reconcile. Yeah, because you're their empress. Okay, this is what I want to see, that someone is taking action, that they're not just sitting around moping in, in hermit mode, being weird. It's like they need to take action. Emperor and Empress, they may want to bring this back together after there's been a separation or divorce. I'm seeing this in a lot of readings, people coming back together after separation has happened, okay? For some of you, you you know, you'll choose to move on and that's fine. It's a tarot is just a guide. It's always up to you what you want to do, but the tarot is showing that this person wants to take action to come back and make things right with you. Maybe after a period of introspection, going within, being in hermit mode and looking at things differently now, now they want a spiritual union with you. Yeah. Yeah. How will Aries feel? Wow, look at that queen of wands. Some of you are really wanting this. It may start off slow with just a, a few, you know, text messages or a phone call here and there, page of pentacles. You feel the passion with this person, king and queen of wands, a match, a pair. Y'all are both feisty. Whoever this person is, you'll know who I'm talking about. Both of y'all are feisty, fiery people. Y'all both have an attitude. Y'all both are stubborn. Yeah, I feel it. I feel that energy. Y'all both, y'all may do tit for tat stuff at times, kind of playing games with each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So it's like, if, well, if you don't call me, well, I'm not calling you. Well, if you don't text me, well, I'm not texting you. Well, I don't miss you. I don't miss you either. It's that kind of feel going on between you and this person. I feel it. But they like it. They like how spicy you are. I'm picking that up as well. They like your attitude. They like how feisty and sassy you may be. <laughs> Someone likes the sassiness. They see it as a challenge. Like they like the challenge that you present to them. They're not, they're not afraid of that. Yeah. Okay. See, King of Swords reversed. Okay, King of Swords reversed. Someone letting down their guard. Upright, King of Swords is my ice king, okay? Letting down their guard. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wanting something happy with you. Why is the uh, King of Swords in reverse? Four of Swords. Tell me more. 
the moon okay okay let's see let's see page of pentacles yeah okay give me one more for the king of swords reverse okay like i said this may move slow okay small communication knight of pentacles with page of pentacles slow communication coming in okay the offer is coming in but this person has maybe they weren't talking to you or they're not talking to you right now because this person is needing to heal they're going deep within maybe spirit is giving them messages with the moon card cancerian energy coming through while this person has not been talking, they've been dealing with a lot of emotional things, needing to heal from like broken emotions or toxic emotions. And then it's like, so it goes from darkness, see all that dark blue and all of that darkness there. It's nighttime in these cards to green. It's like the green light. They're ready to talk, but it may come in slow. Like, hey, Hey, Aries, are you okay? Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. Hope all is well. Or they may send you a message. Happy holidays. Hey, yeah, I was thinking about you. Happy holidays. You know, it may be something small like that. Okay. Like I said before, with the page of wands, that they may trip over their words. They may be nervous to talk to you. Okay. When they come back in, may, may be nervous. Okay. And how will you feel? When they come out of hermit mode, how will you feel when they talk to you? Okay, what we got, what we got. Okay, so you may not know. You may not know. Two of wands, you'll have a decision to make. Three of wands. Okay, the two of you may be at a distance. So you may be like, if you're long distance from this person, you may be like, I'm not sure how this will work. But let me think about it. Let me think about it. Okay, okay. We also have magician. It flipped out in reverse. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything this time. You, you're going to make this person do it. You're going to make them put in the action. You're going to make them work. Okay. Yeah. Tower energy at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio's major arcana. Yeah. Some of you may want, it's like, you want this person to realize what they did. Nine of Swords, you may want revenge a little. I feel that energy coming through for some of you. It's like, I'm not taking you back unless you admit that you screwed everything up. Nine of Swords with the Tower. Whew, that's heavy energy. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you may be looking at this person like, you, you better work to be with me. Because you messed everything up. We we could have had it all. Nine of cups. You were my desire. And then this person did something to disrupt everything. That's where that disruption is. Yes. They know that they disrupted this union. They know they did something. I don't know if they flirted with other people. They started talking to other people. You know. Yeah, maybe they put you in a third party. That's for some of you. Or maybe this person just pissed you off. They said the wrong things or they didn't say nothing at all. Maybe they just didn't take action when they were supposed to. Maybe they you didn't feel protected with this person. You feel out in the cold with this person. Maybe this person didn't open up emotionally when they were supposed to, okay? Which is why the queen, the king of swords is in reverse, okay? They, they were going within... They were dealing with things that they weren't telling you about, keeping a lot of secrets. Not that they were necessarily all bad secrets. It's just that this person was not being openly com communicative with you. They were not saying what they were dealing with, okay? Or they're not currently saying what they're dealing with. So let's go to Island Time Wellness Cards. Okay, give us some tea on this situation. What's going on with Aries and this person? What's going on with Aries in this person? What does Aries need to hear and know with this person? Okay. Yeah, see, we have passion. Well, we already discovered that, that this person, both of y'all are very passionate people as well. Very passionate with each other. Of course, there's chemistry here. You both like each other equally. You have fun with this person or you used to have fun with them. Yeah, there's passion here. You hold, you hold the key to this person's heart, heart with the key. 
welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Yeah, I feel like there is a lot of passion and love in this. Remember, it was the Ace of Cups, love begins, and we had the Ace of uh, Pentacles that came out as the first card. So there's love, there's passion here. There's the chance for a stable connection. Then we had the Ace of Wands that just came out. Passion, love, and stability all in this connection. The two of you feel it. There have just been some things going on with this person that they haven't been truthful about. We had the Ace of Swords come out too. Wow, all these aces. This person needs to tell you how they have always felt about you. I feel like they've held it back that you were always the one. You were always the person for them. You always had the key to this person's heart. Yeah. See, someone is dealing with addiction. Look at that. Someone is obsessing, watching, stalking you. They're watching you, watching your every move. Uh-huh. See, they need to get out of that pattern of being in um being in hermit mode and sitting back watching, 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 and not taking action. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block or restraint. Person is very stubborn. We've already said that could be very controlling or obsessive. This person is needing to get over these addictions, okay? And this may have been why um, this person has not been talking, which is what we saw here. Four of Swords with the Moon needing to heal from some toxic emotions. This person doesn't know how to communicate. Learning to heal from never expressing their emotions. They need to heal from that. Hand of Cards, this is a risk for them. They're, they're a bit afraid. They may be nervous to take a risk, okay? May be afraid. So what does this person want to say to you? Let's come to this deck. What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? Let's get a few more. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I have my own place to live in. They could have their own place or they could want to achieve this with you having a place for the two of you to live in if you're at a distance from each other you're my only option see i feel like they didn't tell you this when they had the chance or they haven't been telling you this at all no one else you're number one to me now i'm ready to be a romantic lover emotionally available that's what i'm saying this person was not or has not been open with their emotions incapable of speaking how they feel they're used to hiding emotions i miss you they want you to know i miss you sad without you can't sleep i yearn for you someone is saying i love hard i am serious they want you to know they're serious also this person is a hard worker they are not lazy someone is a hard worker okay let's go to the um, Oracle of the Unicorns. What does Aries need to know or what needs to come back into the flow this week in this situation? What does Aries need to know? Wow, we got three that popped out. Look, strength. Someone needs strength here. Yeah. I thought we had that somewhere. No? Okay. Yeah, we did. The strength card. That's what I was saying. Strength had already come out. Okay, they see you as strong. They're trying to be brave for you. It says this challenge will make you stronger. And I feel like Spirit is saying this challenge will make your union with this person stronger if you choose to stay with them. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. So for some of you, take it as a good thing that this person is staying away because they're keeping that toxic energy out of your life. They don't need to be around you while they're feeling all toxic and needing to deal with these issues, emotional issues, deep secrets and deep fears. This person needs to deal with that energy before they come toward you. So they're trying to get strength. They're trying to gather the courage to come toward you. Also trust is here. 
Leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Okay. So someone in the situation needs to trust, needs to have faith that things will get better. If you allow this person to heal, if you allow this person the space or time that they need. Okay. Also partnership is here. It says teamwork will give you a better result. The two of you are better together. Okay. If this person is healed. Okay. If they're still toxic, no. <laughs> Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. This person needs some support. Not necessarily from you. I'm saying in general, this person needs support. They, they need help. So um, I'm being drawn back to that addiction card. This person may need to go and get some, like be in a support group or go to rehab, something like that. This person could be dealing with all kinds of addictions, okay? And I feel like once this person is healed, the two of you will be able to come into partnership and it will be a strong, healthy relationship, not based on um, lust or codependency or obsession and stuff like that, okay? Okay. So let's come to this deck and then we'll wrap things up, okay? So this is the, the deck that has the zodiac signs and the planets. So what energies are coming into play? Okay, we have one flip out. What energies are coming into play for Aries this week? Okay. <laughs> Scorpio is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be definitely dealing with the Scorpio. Their energy was in this reading. Or some of you... um to have Scorpio in your chart. Okay, what do we have? Wow, we have Neptune. Neptune coming out first, the ruler of Pisces. So someone could be very spiritual, very psychically inclined. Someone may have a lot of dreams. Spirit may come and uh, give you messages about this person in your dreams, or th this person may be receiving messages about you in their dreams. Someone is very um, into like music because Pisces is is like the dancer of the zodiac <laughs> someone is very into music or finds healing through music someone is a music lover okay loves music or uh, you'll always hear them singing or humming or something like that that could resonate for some of you take it as it resonates these cards um they may not be for everyone okay Venus rules Libra Someone is very romantic. Someone could be very into their looks, very good looking, easy on the eyes. <laughs> oh yes, with that king and queen of wands, I know the two of you are very attracted to each other. So maybe two very good looking people. Okay. Yeah. Someone who is good with their words. Someone could be into poetry, I'm getting. Very into poetry or spoken word or someone is... Um, again, the singing is coming out. Someone is a singer. Someone could be a singer I'm getting, or is always singing like in the shower or singing around the house. There's something with music between the two of you that draw the two of you together. Maybe you send each other songs that you like. Maybe that's how you, you two connected. Maybe you connected at a, like a club or a bar where there was a lot of music happening. The sun card is here. Someone has fire energy. The light is coming through. Things are being enlightened for you guys. There's a lot of passion here with the sun coming out. Someone could be in the spotlight as well, have a career that's in the spotlight. Okay, and then Jupiter expansion. Yes, Jupiter is here, the ruler of Sagittarius. So someone could be very adventurous, wanting to expand, wanting to maybe travel overseas. Maybe the two of you have talked about this or will talk about it. Maybe the two of you will take a lot of trips together. Lots of travel indicated. Big careers. The two of you may be at the top of your game in your career or whatever field you're in. Okay. Alrighty, Aries. That is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, I do want to say before I end the video, I am no longer putting out all 12 signs in one day. It's becoming a lot of a, um, of a workload for me. 
um, while, while I'm trying to balance my own personal life and um, the channel and different projects I have. I have other businesses as well. So I am trying to um, not do everything on one day because it is a lot for me to do that, okay? So if the readings are coming out sporadically throughout the week, that is why. But I can guarantee you, you will always still get your weekly readings, okay? Every week you'll get your readings. It's just that I will not be putting them out all on one day like I used to, okay? All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Take care. I will talk to you soon. Bye.